guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. So this right here is the most basic holiday glam makeup look that I could come up with that's really easy to do. I did use, where is she? Where did I put it? This is the thing that made this look for today. One of the Stila Magnificent Metals liquid eyeshadows. This one is in Kitten Karma and yes, that is what I have on my eyes. It makes it look like I packed on a ton of glitter, when in reality, it's just this stuff right here. I wanted to do something super festive and glam for the holidays, but I didn't want to do the classic red lip. I feel like this kind of look is something that everybody can wear, and you can also wear it with anything. And you guys know me, this is obviously my go-to with the warm shadows and the smoky glam glitter thing that we got going on. So yeah, it's super easy to do. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. Okay guys, I have already prepped and primed my skin. So jumping straight into foundation today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in the shade Golden Beige and I'm just applying that all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with a dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques and blend that into the skin. So I've said this before and I'll say it again every single time I use this foundation. If you have not yet tried it, it is a must try, especially if you have oily skin like I do. This will do wonders for you. It gives you a really flawless base, full coverage without being too heavy, and I just love it. It's also super inexpensive as well, which is always great. So now that I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Peach and apply that to my under eyes with a Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. This is really going to help to brighten up the area underneath my eyes to counteract that darkness, but we need something heavy duty. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just dotting that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and above my brows. And I'm going in with the dampened sponge once again to blend that into the skin. I'm sure a lot of you guys all know and love this concealer. It is super full coverage doesn't crease up on me and is very lightweight at the same time, which is why I really like to use it, especially for these intense, heavy, glam makeup looks. So once I'm happy with all that and how it's blended in, I'm also going to go ahead and set it into place. I am going to be doing some light baking. I'm using the Laura Mercier loose setting powder for that, but personally, I don't actually like to bake. I like to do it very quickly because I don't like that feeling of the powder sucking the life out of my face. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. So I will just like pat it on, make sure that I get it into all those fine lines that I may have so that it doesn't crease up. And then I'm gonna quickly sweep it away, dust all that excess powder off and whatever is left will just be applied to the other areas where I applied that concealer. So onto cream contouring now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick that is obviously in a shade that's darker than my skin tone. So I'm applying that to the hollows of my non-existent cheekbones, my temples, and I'm also gonna go ahead and contour my nose with it. Now I say that I don't have cheekbones because I mean, like I do obviously, but I have very chubby cheeks, so you don't really see them. <laughs> but I feel like when I do this technique of cream contouring, it really does give me a nice chiseled yet natural look and it makes my cheeks look more full and chiseled if that makes sense you guys will see what i mean in just a sec so i am buffing that in with a real techniques contouring brush and then when it comes to the cheeks what i like to do is just continuously pat and buff at the areas and you guys will see just how like how my cheekbones start to be like pop in it's crazy i always whenever i do this i look at it i'm like damn i do have some cheekbone structure underneath there because yeah your girl has really chubby cheeks which i like them but you just don't really get to see the structure of my my face if that makes sense i don't know <laughs> 
Anyways, zooming you guys in now, I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So, I'm applying the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone all over my lids, right up to the brows with a Zoeva concealer brush. And as you can see, this really evens everything out. Makes me look like I have a brand spanking new eyelid. Everything just looks so nice and even and just ready to go. So I'm also going to set that into place with some translucent setting powder. And for this look today, I'm using, yes, the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This is one of my favorite shades to use as an... I can't talk. This is one of my favorite shades to use as an initial transitional crease shade. So I'm just applying that to my crease with a Zoeva Luxe Soft Crease Brush, just running that through, blending it out and smoking it upwards as I go. I do want it to be nice and soft and smoky and yeah. <laughs> so I'm just running that through my crease. I'm also going to go ahead and take that shadow again on a more precise blending brush and run that along my bottom lash line and connect it up to the outer corner of my eyes. I really do like to match up whatever is in my crease to my bottom lash line just so everything is nice and cohesive for the look. Next up I'm going to be taking this shade right next to the one that I used initially and once again I'm running this through my crease. I'm using a Zoeva Lux crease brush but I am keeping it much more concentrated and I'm not blowing it out as far and as high as I did with that first shade. So I'm just running this right in the crease, back and forth, and this is all about layering shadows and using the shadows to create depth and dimension to the eye, especially to that crease. So I'm just building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. I'm also going to go ahead and run this along my bottom lash line, but I am keeping it much closer to the lash line once again to add more dimension to the eyes and further define them. So next up you guys, this is my favorite part of this entire look. I'm using the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. And you guys can see just how easy this is to use as opposed to going in with a loose glitter, using glitter glue, all of that mess, this just makes it so much easier. So I'm applying that all over my lids, but I'm only applying it two thirds of the way up to the crease. So I'm covering the inner third and the middle, leaving the outer third blank because I am going to go in with this shadow from the palette. I'm applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and blending it into that glitter eyeshadow that I just applied and also kind of slightly running it through my crease. And this is really going to give my eye that kind of like 3D effect, define it, make it look more how do I describe it? Kind of give it like that cat eye effect, as you can see. So I'm applying that to that area and then blending it into the other shadows, making sure that everything is obviously nice and blended. I'm also gonna take that shadow and run it along my bottom lash line, but I'm kind of only keeping it to the outer two thirds of the eye. So that's pretty much it for shadows. Now moving on to liner, yes, I did decide to do a winged liner for this look and I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise Curvitude Eyeliner for this. Now I typically don't do winged liner on myself anymore, but for this type of look I felt like it was necessary, it really pulled everything together nicely and I'm glad I did it. So yes, even though I don't do winged liner anymore, every time I do it, I proved to myself that I still know how, which is always a good feeling. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Volumizing Mascara, another favorite of mine from Maybelline. So I'm just applying a heavier coat to my bottom lashes and going a little lighter on the top because of course I am going to be applying falsies for this look. So for this look, I'm going with the House of Lashes Allura Light lashes I believe that's what these are called and I wanted to go with these because I wanted something that was intense but I didn't want it to take over the eye like I still wanted you to be able to see obviously all that pretty glitter on the lids when I look up because sometimes when you go with an intense lash it kind of covers up all that work that you've done on the lids but with these lashes you can still see what's happening on the lids, which is what I wanted. So now that all of that is done on the eyes, moving back onto the face, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up. I'm using the MAC 
give me sun mineralized skin finish just applying that over my cheeks and also onto my temples and around my hairline this is just going to add more color back into my face and i am i guess kind of using this as a bit of a blush as well because i didn't want to do anything too crazy and intense for blush i wanted to keep this look very neutral so i am going to be going in with this though this is the wet and wild blush in rosé champagne but i feel like it it doesn't really look like a bro oh sorry i can't talk it doesn't really look like a blush because it has that warm peach undertone but it has a lot of gold reflex throughout it and for highlighter yes i am using this one from ofra this is their highlighter in blissful it has a bit of like a rose gold undertone to it which is perfect for this look so i'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, above my brows, also on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm also going to be using this highlighter because I didn't finish off this one little bit for my eyes. Because of this, I wanted to use this specifically for that. I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eyes and also to my brow bones. And that's something I really like to do as well is whatever highlighter I use, I like to use that for the inner corners of my eyes just so everything goes together nicely. You guys will notice that I like everything to be very matchy-matchy when I do my makeup looks. That's just how I am. So once that's all good, we're going in to the lips now. I'm using this lip liner. This is from Rimmel. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. Unfortunately, I can't think of what number it is off the top of my head, so check the description box for details, but it is... It's my favorite, like I can't even, yeah. So for my actual lip color, I'm using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Once again, one of my favorites. This is like my go-to lip color on the daily and I just felt like it was gonna go with this look really well. And then I'm going to be using Max Peach Stock over top. This is a little bit lighter and I feel like mixing the two together and creating that custom lip color was just what I needed for this look. So now that that's all done, we're all good to go. Spritz my face with some of the Maribadescu facial spray and I'm done. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think if you did enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I am going to leave a list of everything I used in the description down below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, all of that good stuff is down below. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video.